back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Ella and today I'm taking you on another vlog so I am filming on my phone again I hope that the quality is fine um, but today I'm going to the like hardware store Home Depot uh, sort of store here in Latvia and I'm going to try and make a witch's broom so I did see this idea on Pinterest and I thought it was really really cute um, I'll have like a couple of pictures just pop up on the screen here so you kind of know what I'm talking about also I'm hoping that I'm looking at the camera I'm like it's somewhere there so I have a couple of cool crafting ideas planned and I thought I'd just take you along with me for the day I want to have a look in general if I can find anything cute I have this wall here let me just this wall there that wall there I, I hope that yeah it should be fine I uh, I want to turn that into like a dark teal green kind of color with like a gallery style again i'll pop some pinterest pictures on the screen for you i want to see if i can find some paint that would be super super cool and carlos keeps saying that he's gonna build me shelves he's yet to do it um <laughs> so i want to have a look if we can find some shelves and in general like right now the altar room for example is like a mess um Like it's a mess so my idea is just kind of to like you know go to home depot see what they have see if they have any kind of cute decor um or shelves or paint or anything like that and of course the witch's broom and yeah i'll just take you along and we'll see where we get and what we will do so this video is actually in cooperation with one of my best friends, Autumn, um, the red-headed witch, and she is also making a besom or broom. So if you want to have a look at her video, I will link that in the description box, of course, as well. So if you want to see how she did her besom, go check that out. So I was really surprised to see that our Home Depot actually had like these amazing branch looking things plus the individual sticks um so that was really great i picked those up uh, as you can see here i did want a broom that had a hole just so that i could hang it up later so here you can see what we've got in the basket so far we did pick up a couple of other things but yeah so those branches as well as the stick um those fake eucalyptus leaves i actually put away again so i didn't end up buying those we did buy a couple of other things like shower curtains and other um, little things for the apartment and i'm picking out the color for my wall so um we just got back so i bought i'm in the kitchen by the way I bought this broom stick. Um, I don't like the colors. So I bought this, which I'm hoping the person in the store told me that this would work. Um, so it's like a nice, it's cold dark oak. So that looked kind of cute. And then for the actual broom bottom part, they had this for like actual broom. And that's perfect. So I got this. Um, now the only thing is I still wanna get some like dried lavender and some other like dried flowers and stuff. I'll probably just have to like buy flowers, dry them, and then I can kind of like make it look all cute. So I also just went to a flower shop and bought a couple of flowers that dry nicely or slash are pretty much dry already, um, just to add into the broom. So a witch's besom has many associations and many different historians will kind of give you a different theory as to how the association of besoms and brooms as well as with witches started, you know, the typical a witch riding a broom. Um, one of the earliest ones that I could find is actually with Frau Holle, Goddess Holle. Um, if you've seen my video on that, you might already know. If not, then Frau Holle is associated with spindles and distaffs. Now, distaffs look very, very similar to brooms. Um, so that's one interesting association. Uh, another one that I found very curious is that of flying on a broom in relation to psychedelics. So some historians agree that brooms were most likely um, used as 
tools for flying. Um, there are some historians who believe that flying ointments would have been applied to the broom. Um, it's honestly very much up for debate and there's a lot of different theories that I think are very, very fascinating to research. So if this is something that you're very curious about, definitely go down that rabbit hole because it is very, very interesting, the theories that surround the broom and the witch. So brooms really have kind of persevered throughout our history and have now made it to contemporary witchcraft where we really see the broom as a tool of cleansing and cleanliness of course and especially in folk witchcraft you will see themes of um, just removing stagnant energies and inviting in new energies but it can also be used like a stang um, which is oftentimes used in traditional witchcraft as similar to an athame to cast a circle. If you've ever seen the movie Practical Magic, that actually makes use of using brooms to create a circle. So brooms, another example that I really find fascinating, have actually also been used to ward off witches. So especially during Walpurgisnacht, um, which is from the 30th of April to the 1st of May in Germany, you would have people warding off witches by placing a broom outside. Um, so that's a really, really interesting little folklore uh, right there as well. I also will be leaving any sort of source material in the description box in regards to brooms and distaffs and witches and the connectedness of these. Of course, we also have to mention the historical context of brooms and besoms being very much associated with womanhood, being really primarily associated with female domesticity and women. A very strong theory stands by anthropologist Robin Skelton that the connection between brooms and witches specifically comes from a pagan ritual associated with fertility in which people would be in fields dancing with brooms and pitchforks and other pole-like shaped objects to promote fertility for their crops. This dance with brooms could have potentially turned into what we now know as a witch flying through the night on her way to the orgy with Satan or the devil. Um, so that is a very strong theory that a lot of historians agree on is the association between brooms and witches. So here is my broom. So my next step is to paint the wall green. I am drawing on the rune Algis for protection and godly connection. And we're super lucky because within our rental price of this apartment, we actually have a caretaker that also paints walls. <laughs> so he actually um, came over and painted the wall. We did three, no, actually four layers. And I absolutely adore the green color and with time I will start hanging up pictures and other knickknacks on the wall. So here is my wall as well as my broom in their complete and full glory and I'm so excited, I love them. So I hope you enjoyed this video, um, I loved making this and I am going to be hanging this on my wall. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do consider giving it a like, um, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, as usual, I have all of my links in the description box as well as my Patreon if you would like to support me and this channel. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. Blessed be, bye.